Hey internet, so this is now episode 3 of my apartment tour. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Give it a like and a comment below if you are. I know for me it's been amazing motivation to actually get everything together and do those last little bits which I feel like are sometimes the hardest when you move to get everything looking like I wanted to purchase those last few items that I know the apartment needed as opposed to my old place which was smaller and just kind of keep everything neat and tidy as much as is reasonable. I feel like I should give a disclaimer now that we're about halfway through the series that I don't really do too much specific for when I film a video. I feel like it should be as realistic as possible if everything is like weirdly perfect and spotless. Um, that's not terribly realistic. I do have a cat. Things are always furry in my life um, and so I just show it to you guys that way because I feel like that's the most genuine way of filming. So today we are going to be going around my room and I will show you everything and since you guys haven't seen this room before um, I guess I should say how incredibly lucky I am to have such a big bedroom in a city where most apartments are small. I think it's definitely a selling point for this apartment that it has this huge master bedroom and I think it's just kind of meant to be for me to live here for a while. I'm just renting um, because I film videos so this just makes such a great backdrop in my opinion. Of course I'll still be fine-tuning the lighting and setup and all of those things for filming videos as I go but um, hopefully you guys like this as a background because I think it's just a super comfy place to film. I think for Beauty Guru it is nice to film in your room if you're able to do so. I've had to film in my sunroom for a really long time in my previous apartment because my old bedroom was first of all tiny and second of all had the worst lighting ever um, in terms of where to sit and get good lighting. Let's stop with the rambling and show you guys the good stuff which is this room tour of my new bedroom. So welcome to my bedroom. I am currently standing at the entrance and then let's go in and check it out. First of all, I guess we'll go through the room in a clockwise manner. And on the left hand side near the door, I have my little nail polish and jewelry set up so you guys can see I have a full set of shelves there and I'm sure you've seen this before if you've been watching me for a while. I purchased that nail polish rack off of eBay and I've been very happy with it. It does hold quite a lot of polishes as you can see so let's go in and take a closer look at what's there. So to me the bottom rack of that nail polish shelving is the most exciting because those are the nail polishes that I actually wear every day so you can see those two bottom shelves are filled with Formula X by Sephora nail polishes and to me those are very gel like in the way they wear on my nails and these dry in a few minutes and they dry very shiny and long lasting and the only thing that will happen over like usually four to five days is a little bit of tip wear and so you guys can see I have my OPIs, my butters and Chanel's and then my Essie's right at the top and then some miscellaneous at the very top and those are basically Deborah Lipman and Orly. And down below I have my jewelry chest and this is from Bombay. I'm really happy with it. It is very similar to the Pierre One one that a lot of other beauty gurus have but I really like this one because it has a little bit more room in it. It's a bit more of a substantial piece of furniture that you can put things on top of if you want to. I used to do that a long time ago when I had a smaller apartment um, and I just really like the way it's laid out with drawers and sections within it. And to the right of my nail polish rack I have the entrance to my closet which will be next week's video and to the right of that there's a corner of the room with my laundry basket and then my Martha Stewart unit from Home Depot. Um, this is really great if you're looking for a cheap piece of furniture to store things like lingerie or t-shirts or socks. And to the right of that you guys can see there's my little planter with my succulent so that's mostly aloe vera because I found that to be a real survivor in terms of plants and if I ever get a sunburn I could just break a piece off but I feel like I wouldn't do that because I'm so attached to my plant um, and I'm so proud of it for surviving me and the pot that it's in which is a teacup is so adorable I could not resist it it is from Urban Barn um, and I just think it's such a cute way to liven up a room to have like a fun planter and some plants um, I just feel like it's a really healthy thing to have around you so right away I just knew I wanted this in my room when I moved here and I had the room for it um, behind it are some paintings um, three paintings actually that just kind of lean up against the wall and if you want to look back at some of my older videos from within kind of this year I painted those and I did a DIY tutorial on how to do it yourself because it is really easy to make your own art and I think it's a really personal way to decorate your room 
um, and then you can see I have my perfume collection. Let me know if you would like to see a full video on all of my favorite perfumes. Um, so those are all out there because I think they're so pretty to see. This room is large enough that those aren't by the window and I feel like then it's okay to have your perfumes out. I know they're not supposed to be in direct sunlight. Um, the color on a few of them has changed slightly since I purchased them but they still all have their kind of proper scents. And inside my chest which is from the brick um, you can see I've used this entire chest now to store sweaters. Um, I used to have all kinds of clothing in there but now this just holds my sweaters because I feel like it's better to fold those than hang them if you can do so because it won't kind of distend your um, cashmere or other fibers that your sweaters might be made from. So this is probably the most colorful drawer. You can see I've got some greens in there and pinks and patterns and then a lot of the other ones are kind of more neutrals. Then over here to the left of my bed, I have my first bedside table, which is from Antiques Warehouse, with a lamp from Pier 1 on top. And these lamps have worked really well for me. I don't think they're the most exciting lamps ever. But they just look good in every room, and I really like metallic accents. I think those are really neat for decor. They're kind of very me, because they're girly and a little bit glamorous, but nothing too, like, frilly crazy. On that side of my bed, I have my little cat ring holder, and I've had that since I was a baby. It is made from silver. Over. It's very tarnished now, but I kind of love the antique kind of look to it now and you guys know I'm a crazy cat lady so I love having little cat accents here and there. Alright so here's my bed. It's not perfect. I didn't iron it or steam it but this is a part of the room that I am the most excited to show you just because it's been a little bit of a revamp getting it to look exactly how I wanted. The headboard for the bed is a kind of silk ivory color and then the sheets are white and you would think those wouldn't go together but I love the way they've turned out together. I think it looks it's a very kind of cozy hotel um, that was kind of the vibe I was going for and I did definitely splurge on my sheets um, wrinkled as they may look those are fret sheets so they are beautiful kind of very soft cotton so the pillows going from back to front are from home sense urban barn are the velvet blue ones that I've shown you guys in a haul before Actually, you've seen all of those in a haul. And in front of that is the latest kind of finishing touch. Those two items are why I didn't want to put this room tour up until now. Um, because those took a while to arrive. I ordered them from the States and they are from Restoration Hardware. You guys can see it's a quilt and a matching pillow. And I don't know that the camera will accurately cover this, but they are made from the softest of velvets. Um, it is so nice to sleep under because it's very warm, but not woolly. I didn't really want anything scratchy on my bed. I wanted something very soft. I even considered faux fur for a while, but then I realized that wasn't really my style and I couldn't find any that I liked. Um, so I got these and they are basically a creamy ivory velvet. So for my second nightstand, I have the same lamp again, obviously, in the same nightstand from Antiques Warehouse. And that book is Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I really wanted to like this book because she's the author of The Tea Rose, which is an excellent book recommended by one of my close friends. But this particular book of hers, which is more um, geared to young adults, is not particularly well written. So it's an okay read, um, but I just kind of am trying to go get through it so that I can move on to something else. And then I have a candle from Bath & Body Works, which I believe is Pumpkin Patch. Then I have my sheepskin rug, which is a smaller one of the two. The bigger one is in my living room. And I just love stepping down on this in the morning when I wake up. It's so soft and warm and just cozy. And it's a perfect ivory color that goes with the rest of the decor. And then you can see I have ivory curtains against my windows. And I'll show you the windows in a moment. But first I want to give you a brief glimpse at my makeup vanity. And I don't want to spend the whole video talking about this um, because I easily could show you all of my makeup and take forever but we'll take a quick little peek. Um, so that vanity chair is the newest edition. It's one of the only pieces of furniture I bought for my new apartment and it is from Bombay and it's taupe and I'm obsessed with taupe so it just works so well with cream accents. I feel like it's very feminine and it just finishes the vanity area.
area for me and makes it into a true kind of girly space. And you can see I actually use file organizers to store some of my makeup and mainly my brushes and eyeshadow palettes. You can see the end of those two bottles, they're kind of almost finished now, are the YSL um, serum foundation that I've been loving for over a year now. Then I have a mirror just to do my makeup. Right here I have a box of makeup and that is the everyday makeup that I use. So you guys can see I don't use a ton of makeup on an everyday basis because it all fits in that box. And then I have a couple of drawers that I'll show you which stores kind of the rest of my makeup collection. So here is my everyday makeup. I don't want to go through it too much, um, but you guys can see there's the YSL powder, there's an hourglass highlighter, a MAC highlighter, a Dolly Winks eyeliner, and if you guys want to know what my ultimate favorites are for everyday makeup, I would definitely consider doing a series. I don't want my channel to be like all about makeup, but I think that I now have used enough makeup, for goodness sakes, to kind of figure out what are my absolute favorites. So I could totally do a video series on that, um, but you guys can see the top layer of that just has kind of the ultimate essentials that I use on an everyday basis. Says. One of the things that I did do to prepare for this video is wash my makeup brushes because I feel like I get, let them get so, so dirty and I don't deep cleanse them often enough. So I did that last night and they are all fluffy looking and pretty and arranged. So there is the view from my room. This really ugly big sheet of plastic is covering my outdoor sectional and it is necessary to protect it from the plentiful fall rain that we're experiencing in Vancouver right now. You guys can see the kind of creamy ivory curtains came with the apartment and I I just kind of built up from that. I didn't want to change them because I actually quite like them and they seem like nice quality. Um, so then I have a sliding door and a smaller window as well on its left. And there is a new piece of furniture, piece of decor, and it's not new as in purchased, it's new from my bedroom in Victoria. I put some jewelry on there and a cozy kind of knitted scarf from Banana Republic. So I just really like the way that looks. I feel like it really finishes the girly, fashion-y look that I'm going for. And then over here I have this beautiful print of a lady with her fan and I love that. It feels very Jane Austen to me. And again the colors look really good with the color scheme that I devised for this room. And then there's some pictures of me and my mom and also of my grandmother and a piggy bank um, which is porcelain. Um, and in the shape of an elephant and I've had that since I was a kid as well I don't remember a time when I didn't have that so I just like to keep it around because it's very kind of um, Neutral looking it's a little bit girly. It's a little bit fun and the tray on top of that piece of furniture is from home sense and the piece of furniture itself the dresser I guess you would call that or set of drawers is from home sense as well and you guys can see it's a faux leather and that used to live in my filming setup in my sunroom in my old apartment and this is where I keep all of my belts bathing suits and the top two drawers is entirely makeup so I'll give you a glimpse at that you guys can see I still have all my Revlon lip butters there a bunch of Clinique YSL lipsticks. And the second drawer is Q-tips, spare mascara, spare fake eyelashes, and spare makeup bags. This display cabinet is my pride and joy. That's not because it's from a fancy place, it's from Ikea, but only because it took me so long and so much effort to paint. Um, it took so many layers of paint to get that to look the way it does, um, and a bunch of things just took several tries. But it turned out to be a perfect Tiffany blue. I have a Chanel shopping bag and a basket of exercise clothes on the top shelf, then my collection of books. Then I have some shoes, those are from Badgley Mishka. They were my birthday shoes a few years ago, I think for my 25th birthday. I have my birthday shoes, which are from Badgley Mishka, and I think that was for my 23rd birthday that I wore those. And they're just so pretty to look at. They're teal ombre that goes into purple. Below that, I have the duck piggy bank that matches the elephant. And I have some more baskets of clothing that are either wild fox jumpers or kind of more Lululemon clothing that I just kind of keep folded for easy access for whenever I want to either relax um, in a very comfy jumper or go for exercise or run or something like that in Lululemon clothing. I have this ostrich effect mirror which is also from the brick from the same place that I got the white dresser that's reflected in it. Um, I really love this mirror. I love the creamy color of it, how soft the leather is, the size of it is great for taking Instagram outfit shots. That is it for my room tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. 
please let me know in the comments below if you like it as a filming setup. I really hope you do because I plan to be filming a lot in this room and just kind of updating it as I go with the seasons and everything else like that. If there's anything in particular in this room that you'd like to see more of and would like to see a full video on, also let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.